Bueller comes in, distracts everybody. It's okay. We're used to it. All right. It's time to talk about San Diego Comic-Con Marvel Studios announcements. Let's get to it. First of all, Kevin Feige comes out. I don't think they've done this since 2019. That was the one where they announced uh, Mahershala Ali as Blade, and and that was a big deal. They announced uh, Jane Foster as Thor, uh, played by Natalie Portman. We've gotten that. We've gone through Season 4, or Phase 4, I should say, and... We got the full lineup for Phase 5 and a partial lineup, the tease, to Phase 6. So we've got announcements that take us all the way through 2025. And nothing makes me, like, f- fill with existential dread than when we get these long-ass announcements. And I realize how old I will be when, when some of these things I'm looking forward to actually come out. But let's get into it. First up, we got the end of Phase 4. It's going to end with She-Hulk, first of all, and Black Panther. So they showed a new She-Hulk trailer. Um, I'm going to have to take my thoughts on the CG out of my overall thoughts, mostly. Uh, the CG at times seems like it could work for me. At other times, it seems rather wonky. But as far as the approach they're taking with the story, a little comedic, we're showing them breaking the fourth wall. I really do like that. I think that's kind of cool. And at the end, you get a tease of Daredevil showing up, and he's in the yellow and red, which is weird. But She-Hulk, I think it looks fine. We'll definitely be doing one of these, uh, one of those shows that we did, like for Miss Marvel. We'll be doing that for She-Hulk. I'm looking forward to it. It looks like it's got the John Byrne vibes, a little bit of the Dan Slott vibes, a little Charles Soule vibes. The CG, we're just going to have to see. But, uh, of course, lots of Daredevil hype coming up lately. Then we got the Wakanda Forever trailer. This releases... November 11th, we saw the uh, poster for it, and it has been confirmed pretty much that T'Challa in the MCU has died. And so this book is picking up, I think we see brief mentions, or show. uh, I think we see footage of his funeral, right? And so this will probably be dealing with somebody else picking up the mantle, most likely Shuri, but it could be anybody. Okoye could be a potential candidate, but... It seems like they're following the path of the comics. It's going to be Shuri. Um, But it's got a lot of Atlantean stuff, including Namor, and I'm all for it. I know earlier some people didn't like the Mayan Aztec approach, and yes, here we are double-checking. He does have a mustache, Uh, but I I like the look. I, 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 I liked the trailer a lot. I mentioned that I was a little bit conflicted about this because... I think they should recast T'Challa. I think T'Challa Black Panther is too important of a character to just let a sad turn of events like Chadwick Boseman, us losing him, change things. But we do get the brief glimpse of we do get a new Black Panther in this film. I think it's going to be Shuri. We shall see. Um, That trailer's got me more hype for it. Then we got Secret Invasion. Actually, before Secret Invasion, well, I guess I didn't put it on here. The Ant-Man and the Wasp, Quantumania, that will be in February of 2023 on the 17th, I believe. Secret Invasion comes in spring of 2023. Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3 will drop May 5th, 2023. It will include, um, I can't remember the actor's name, but the dude who's like the head of the group and Peacemaker is playing the High Evolutionary. He actually showed up. So that was that was interesting. Uh, then we got Echo is releasing summer of 2023. The thing that excites me the most about this is that we do get Vincent D'Onofrio as Kingpin and Charlie Cox back as Daredevil. Loki season two is also summer of 2023. Man, that's a long time. Long wait, right? The Marvels releases July 28th, 2023. Um, after the end of Miss Marvel, I'm actually rather excited for this film. Then we got Blade. Very excited for this one. This is going to be November 3rd, 2023. So we're like a year and a half away from Blade. It's going to be a movie. Ironheart, who you see in the Wakanda Forever trailer, uh, will get her own series on Disney+. Plus. It's going to be in fall of 2023. And then in winter of 2023, leading into 2024, we get the Agatha Harkness series, Agatha Coven of Chaos. And then Daredevil Born Again, 18 episodes starting in spring of 2024. Damned excited for this one. Then we got Captain America New World Order. This is a new Captain America movie featuring Sam Wilson as Captain America. This is going to release May 3rd, 2024. And then Phase 5 officially ends with Thunderbolts. 
and that will be on July 26th, 2024. But then we got a little bit of tease for Phase 6. We're going to get Fantastic Four, November 8th, 2024. Rumors are that the cast will be announced at D23, coming up in a couple months. But we got two Avengers films in one year announced, both in 2025, one in May. May 2nd sees the release of Avengers The Kang Dynasty, and then the one that gets everybody going, Avengers Secret Wars for November 7th, 2025. There are some other spaces um, that we don't have announcements for, but I'm really excited to finally see that we got some Avengers movies coming. Kang Dynasty, obviously we know Kang's going to be a big factor, and we've been saying we're leading into Secret Wars. So that's pretty exciting. I'm excited for Phase 5 overall. The thing that I'm most excited for, probably, well, obviously the Fantastic Four, but now we don't have a director. I believe that John Watts left the project, so we don't know who the director is. We don't know who the cast is. We're assuming that Krasinski is going to come back to play Reed, but that's just an assumption at this point, right? But we'll probably get that information at D23 like we were talking about. I am incredibly excited for Daredevil Born Again. Here's the thing. Do I think that Disney Plus can do it? I don't know. Are they going to adapt the Daredevil Born Again story? Or are they just using Born Again as like a reference to be like, look, Daredevil Born Again. Now we got them. We're doing them. Disney Plus. The way they utilize Kingpin and Hawkeye, ooh, kind of like I didn't really like that. I felt like they softened him up a little bit. If you're doing Daredevil and if you're doing a story based on a Frank Miller, David Mazzucchelli masterpiece, you better bring the, the vital brutalness, the vital brutality of Daredevil Born Again. You better bring that in. You better do it. You better do it justice. I am ready for this. In 18 episodes? All right, Marvel, we've been criticizing you. Talking about six episodes, maybe not enough time to do this stuff. We mentioned maybe eight episodes would have been fine for Miss Marvel or, or Moon Knight. But y'all going to give us 18 How's that going to be broken up? I bet it's going to be broken up in three six-episode arcs. I think that's what they're going to do. I don't think they're going to release a show for 18 weeks straight. But then again, if they did, that would be kind of cool. But I'm excited to see that. Um, Blade, obviously, super pumped to see Mahershala Ali play Blade. I've been waiting for this. Blade, that's one of my favorite movies. I got the VHS right here. Come on, y'all. Big Blade fan. Show enough. (laughs) um the avengers secret wars like a lot of us have been criticizing the mcu lately phase four being lackluster feeling like it has no direction other people like calm down they're just building up some new stuff introducing some new concepts then we're gonna get and right after love and thunder where there was like a tipping point of people being like it was happening this avalanche of people being fed up we were commenting on this channel you know I enjoyed Thor, Love and Thunder for the most part. I think it's like three out of five you digs. Like, it's okay, but it's got some weak parts. It's got some okay parts, but it's got some decent, strong stuff too. But it's an unbalanced movie. But I think overall, people are just ready for that direction. They de- they delivered it here. I think they delivered it by letting everybody know, okay, we, we are building up to Kang. We're building up to Secret Wars. Trust us. Here we go. It's starting to win some of that trust back. This could not be more perfectly planned and timed and paced out. So there you go. We also got to remember that there has been a halt on some of these Marvel projects when COVID hit. So we should be further along than we are. But now we have caught back up and now it's time for these big announcements. And that is another thing that we were missing is we hadn't had any big announcements really of what to expect since like 2019, right? So this was the first time they were doing San Diego, I think back with a bunch of people there and Kevin Feige uh, blew it out of the park. Like a lot of people very excited about some of this news. We'll see. I'm still very conflicted about the Wakanda forever bit because I feel they should recast T'Challa. But I understand it's how do you do a Black Panther 2 right after Chadwick Boseman dies? How do you do that? I think this movie is going to really kind of play up that sense of loss. I hope it's good. It's the next MCU movie that we're getting. It's it's November of this year. It's nice to get some a trailer. I, I I'm excited. I I think I'm really excited to see Namor. I I obviously in a perfect world, Chadwick Boseman will still be with us. So I I don't envy the decision makers there, but I think the character T'Challa is too important to let Chadwick Boseman un, his unfortunate passing kill the character. But I don't know. We'll see. 
they wowed me with that first Black Panther movie. So we'll see. She-Hulk, you know, we'll, we'll, we'll see what happens there. But I, I'm excited to check it out. I'm a John Byrne She-Hulk fan. I'm thinking about cracking open that omnibus, doing a reread or something. Guardians of the Galaxy, super pumped for that. High Evolutionary is one of my favorite characters. I The Evolutionary War was going on when I was, like, really getting into comics. Like, I was reading them in the 80s, but when I was, like, going to shops and buying them myself, High, Elu- High Evolutionary War was going on, and I got into that. I got into that character, even to the point that my... Uh, so my stage name when I would do rap and shit, when I would perform hip hop was contact, but I would either be contact the one hit wonder or just contact or contact the high evolutionary. Right. Anyway, so that was, or high revolutionary is what I called myself. There, there you go. Um, other stuff is okay. Like I'm not excited that much about most of this stuff. I mean, for the most part though, I am, and I'm going to, I'm, I'm, I'm going to check out most of it. I want to see what y'all have to think about this news. Let's take a look real quick. PE Freak 520 says, I'm disappointed they didn't include Deadpool in the phase announcements. I, I feel like that's probably one of the, uh, a lot of people are speculating it's one of the missed ones because we know that it's coming, right? But there you go. They made Gamora green, no problem. I don't see why they didn't go that route for She-Hulk's face at least. But maybe it wasn't possible since the rest of her body is CG. Yes, she's definitely a lot bigger. We'll see. Uh, Joram and Shin want to know, is it Killmonger? Is it Michael B. Jordan? You know, there are rumors of that. Maybe if we are in the multiverse saga, and that, that is what phase four, five, and six are being called. So if one, two, and three are the infinity saga, this is the multiverse saga. Um, so that is a thing, but I don't know. I think... I think that it would be easiest just to go Shuri, but we'll see what happens. Could be Mbaku, could be Okoe. We'll see. If Ma- if Namor doesn't look like Spock, it's a fail. I think he looks good. Shin Roku says Blade, yes. Bakari says it's Shuri. Eric says finally we get a third Blade film. That's right, because there is no third Blade film. It never happened. <laughs> Daredevil. Yeah, I'm, I'm pumped. I hope Darede- I hope they do Daredevil right. I really want King Dynasty to follow the Avengers Forever comic. Avengers Forever written by Kurt Busiek. Plus, there's a King Dynasty story that's about that. But I think it will be mostly like... I think we'll see different versions of Kang starting in Quantumania. And I think we'll see different versions of Kang. And then the King Dynasty will like give us like... I, I know it will all culminate in, in that, and that will set up Avengers Secret Wars. What I love about it is that Fantastic Four is introduced first, and rumors, very strong rumors, that one of the biggest Marvel villains of all time will be introduced in the world of Wakanda movie, or the Wakanda Forever movie. So there you go. I'm going to be 30 when the X-Men arrives, says Shin. Well, how old are you now? I'm going to be, long, I'm going to be older than that. <laughs> and of course, we know that they're calling it the mutants instead of X-Men. We'll see how they actually go with that. You can't deny, I think, the power of the brand and of the word X-Men. So that would be difficult. Eric says, Netflix basically did Born Again in Season 3, which I've never watched. I still haven't seen Season 3 of Daredevil, actually. I think it's just a name like Homecoming was for Spider-Man, a little wink. That's what I heard, but we'll see. Because... How much of the Netflix stuff is canon to them? Maybe this is their chance to kind of redo it all? I don't know. Did you know that Blade had to animate? Yes. I actually got my buddy's DVD copy of it right back there. Um, Warren Ellis wrote that too, and I fucking love it. What will the Thunderbolts lineup be? Right now, seems like Yelena Belova. Abomination has been rumored for it. U.S. Agent. Think those kind of characters in the Marvel Cinematic Universe right now, there's even uh, the idea that Jeremy Renner could be in it as Hawkeye, Clint Barton. I think that would be perfect because Hawkeye was the leader of the Thunderbolts for a while. We're not getting God Emperor Doom. Um, we should just get regular Doom at first, but I don't know. There has to be a lot of movement to happen until Secret Wars to get that to happen, but we'll see what happens. But I think they'll definitely have Kang being involved more than... Kang wasn't really involved in the original Secret Wars. Not the original with the Beyonder. Kang wasn't... They're going to focus this one on the Hickman one, I think. They bring it in Marvel Knights? Yeah, they've already done a lot of that, right? What's up, Chicago Schultz? How you doing? 
They'll be able to recast a bunch after Secret Wars, though, right? Smash a bunch of universes together? They could. Will they? We'll see. Trade Paper Dad's excited for Wakanda and Kang. Shin's excited for Thunderbolts. Nick says, still haven't wrapped my head around the purpose of Phase 4. Seems disconnected, and they introduced a ton of realities. Dimensions, hidden worlds, and timelines. Oh, well, P5 and 6 look sick. And then, maybe in hindsight, if 5 and 6 work, 4 is okay. But here's the thing. Even in the Infinity Saga, which we all agree was awesome, I think there were some weak points, to be honest. I thought Phase 2 was kind of weak. Like, honestly, we had some great movies in Phase 2. Well, because Winter Soldier's Phase 2, right? But we also had Iron Man 2, Thor 2, Age of Ultron. Yeah, you know, I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Eric says, Phase 4 was, let's toss crap against the wall. <laughs> some hit, some didn't. That's how it's always going to be, right? Eternals didn't hit. Not at all. But some of those missing things, obviously, we're probably going to get another Doctor Strange movie. We're probably going to get another Thor movie. We're probably going to get a Shang-Chi 2. I think we already know that we're going to get some of that stuff. And there's probably going to be another Spider-Man movie, right? Do you think they will cast Abomination? I love Tim Roth, but he's too old now. No, he's Abomination in She-Hulk. He's in She-Hulk. He's in the trailer. He's, he's, he's in She-Hulk. It's Tim Roth. Let's fucking do it, brother. He aged the uh, the right amount. I mean, the the MCU timeline's kind of gone along with us, and now, especially with the post-five years thing and COVID, we're kind of catching up to it, right? So, yeah, it's him. The reason everything feels disjointed is to set up the multiverse saga. Secret Wars will probably get rid of the other universes, etc. Maybe. I think uh, we'll see what happens. I mean, obviously the original, not the original, in the Hickman Secret Wars, all of the multiverse did collapse and Doom had to save what he could into one planet that he ran as God Emperor Doom. Um, and I love that series. Fantastic Four being having their movie, though, what is it, the same year? Okay, so Fantastic Four is at the end of 2024, and then the two Avengers movies are after that, so it almost feels like they should have been planting the seeds of this earlier. When I do look at this, and I do look at some of the criticism lately that even I have had over Phase 4, I feel like they should have been planting some of this shit earlier, because it almost seems like when you look at these movies, the Marvels is going to be focusing on their own thing, Blade's going to be his own movie, like... When you look at this, how is it all going to be coming together? Does it really jump from some teases of Kang throughout some of these films and then right into Fantastic Four, Thunderbolts, and then the Avengers stuff? So, I don't know. Like, I, fe I do feel like they should have already... I do feel like they should have already been laying some of this groundwork faster in Phase 4, more than just introduce Kang... And the multiverse. But they're also introducing new properties. So we'll see. We'll see how they handle it. But that the Infinity Saga was very epic. It's going to be hard to top that. Especially with the multiverse saga. We'll see what happens. If FF jumps right into Doom, I think it'll be a misstep. How do you explain Doom's backstory of the power of Cosmic? To lead in secret... Yeah, exactly. But at the same time, there are rumors that one of the biggest Marvel villains of all time will make his first appearance in Black Panther 2. So we'll see. Time Told says, can't wait for Daredevil, but I need some more John Bernthal. Punisher in my life. Yes. I have heard rumors. Uh, I think Perch was talking about that the rumors are that aside from Iron Fist, they're all going to be brought back in. We've already heard that they've been talking to Ritter for Jessica Jones. Uh, Punisher, that would be a big misstep not to bring him in as John Bernthal. We got Charlie Cox, Vincent D'Onofrio. Aside from Iron Fist, I think they may not even do Luke Cage for a minute, but we'll see. But we'll see what happens. But it would be weird to do a Fantastic Four movie, and then, like, within a year, you're doing Secret Wars. And I don't know, because I think that the, the four need to be a big part of that, so we'll see. 
I think they'll just introduce Kang in the movie the same way they had Ultron's entire arc. Well, we've seen a variant of Kang already, and we're going to see Kang in Ant-Man and Wasp Quantumania. We are going to see that. PG, a PG-13 blade will eat Donkey? I don't think so. I think you could do a PG-13 blade. I don't think blade needs to be rated R. Um, but I do like the rated R blade movies. The, the two that we've gotten, there's only two. There's not a third one. Uh, but I think you could do a lot with PG-13. I think Blade can work. I think Blade worked uh, on Spike, though, with sticky fingers. So what do I know? But, of course, there was a very R-rated version of that, too. That's the coolest thing about that DVD set. I don't have that DVD set. I need to get that. But one of the coolest things is I like is that there's the made-for-TV version, and then it's like they filmed everything with more violence and, 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 and nudity, and they put that out on its own. It's weird. It's weird to me. It's all about Mephisto. I've not heard. I've not heard that rumor or that speculation, Mike. All right. 